Yo gamers, welcome back. We've already shown how to earn millions in this game with job cycling and low level jobs. So in this video, we're gonna level up the grind and jump straight to the highest paying job in the game, Kayo Perico. The only requirement to run Kayo is owning the Kasatka submarine, which you can buy from Warstock for about $2.3 million. There are add-ons you can buy like the Sparrow helicopter and the guided missiles, both of which can really help speed things up. But even though it'll take longer without those things, it's still worth the time it takes to do the job because of the huge payout. So for for this video I'm going to assume you only have enough money for the Kasatka itself and show you how to run it all the way through from start to finish with only the bare minimum of equipment to work with. Let's get to work. I'm going to buy just the Kasatka with none of the add-ons to begin with. Now a little bit of preliminary information to start. The first time you run Kayo it'll always be the same primary target, which are the dirt files that El Rubio has on Madrazo. After all, it's Madrazo that hires you to do this job in the first place, so it makes sense to have a story mode target for the first run. After you finish Finish that first run, then the primary target will start being different every time. Most of the time it'll be the tequila, which is the least valuable target, but the other targets you can get in order of increasing value are the ruby necklace, the bearer bonds, and the pink diamond. While each of those is more valuable than the previous, they are also less likely. To put it another way, the more valuable the target, the less of a chance you have to get it. And that's why most of the time you'll end up getting the tequila. There is a fifth target called the panther statue, which is way more valuable than the rest. This is a special target that's normally not available. A couple years ago, Rockstar used to run special event weeks where you could get it, but nowadays they've basically locked it behind a paywall. And the only people who can get those special event weeks now are the GTA Plus subscribers. Freaking Rockstar, man. So forget about the Panther statue unless you're a GTA Plus subscriber. Now, on to business. We know the primary target for this run is going to be the Madrazo files since it's my first time running Kayo. Let's skip all the silly cutscenes and get right into the mission. Although it's worth mentioning that Dr. Dre showing up at the airport and then having to bail on Kayo to go find his phone ended up being the setup for the Agency DLC that came out the next year. That was a pretty cool tie-in and it gave some continuity between the DLCs and I would definitely call it rare form for Rockstar these days. The mission really starts when you're on the beach for the party. Your first job is to sneak out and go scope out the island while avoiding security, both guards and cameras. Right at first, you're kind of on rails and you have to do certain things, like go look at El Rubio's compound. So let's begin. First, you're going to leave the beach by sneaking out this gate after the guard walks away from it. Follow the cliffs around to the right and then sneak through this gate when the guards are looking the other way. Be aware of the camera too and use your radar to stay out of vision cones. You can go on foot from here or steal this little 4x4 to move faster. Just make sure you don't get Get caught or else you'll have to go back to the beach and start again. Like I said, the mission is on rails at first and you have to do certain objectives in order. The first one is to go look at El Rubio's compound. It's kind of annoying because it really doesn't help you or give you any info you need for the mission, but you have to do it in order to complete the mission. Thankfully, this is only in the very first Kayo run and the next time you run it and every time after, you can scope out the island in any order you choose and you will not have to go look at the compound if you don't want to. Next up, we get the first meaningful objective, which is to go to the radio tower and hack the security cameras to find the main target. This is something you will always do every time you run Kayo. The mini puzzle for hacking the cameras is easy. You have to connect each of the three circuits to the other side until the resulting number adds up to the target number on top. There's actually only six possible combinations to get there. Right at first, you might have to stare at it for a second while you do the math in your head, but after a few times it'll be easy, just like all the mini puzzles in this game. Once you solve it, open the Sightseer app on your phone and view the security cameras. The first time, there's a gruesome some scene here involving one of El Rubio's henchmen and a hungry panther. Next time though, and every time after, you'll just scope out the target. You also have to scope out the elevator in the office for your first run, but like the panther thing, never again after that. Then the first time rail ride continues, with Pavel telling you to go to the north dock and scope out some stuff there. This is actually useful though, because it gives you the north dock as a starting point for the main heist, which in turn gives you the long fin approach, and that's the most efficient one. After you reach the north dock and take the picture of the long fin, Pavel will also have you scope out the warehouses there for secondary targets. Well, this is mandatory for the first run, it's something you will definitely always want to do anyways, because these secondary targets are worth money and they help you fill up your backpack. You need a full backpack for the Elite Challenge, which pays even more money. The last mandatory thing you'll have to scope out are the bolt cutters at the North Dock. Again, this is only a first run thing, and after this run you won't have to do it again. 
we won't even use them anyways because we'll be getting the cutting torch during our setup missions and that makes the bolt cutters useless. At this point, you're free to just roam the island and scope out whatever else you want. Since you're at the north docks anyways, I suggest you grab a dinghy and head south along the coast to El Rubio's compound. Once you're in the bay, pull up close and dive into the water. If you swim down here, you'll find a drainage tunnel like the one for Humane Labs in the Story Mode mission. You don't have to take a picture of this, you just have to look at it underwater until you get the notification that you've scoped it out. This unlocks it as an entry point, which we will definitely use, and it also unlocks the Cutting Torch setup mission, which I mentioned earlier. Next, jump back in the boat and take it back north around the other side of the island, keeping the coast on your right hand side. You'll come to the main docks and you can take a picture of them without even having to get out of the boat. This will unlock the main dock as another starting point. I'll start from here if I'm planning on going to the airport because you can get there quicker from the main dock than you can from the north dock. There are two secondary target warehouses here that you can do solo and a third one that requires two people to open. It's not usually worth my time to scope these out though because I'll usually find all the secondary targets I need between the airfield and the north dock. After you take that picture, keep heading north along the coast until you get to the airfield. There are three warehouses here too, which I always scope out. The first two are in this hangar building, one on the ground and the other upstairs. The one on the ground is pretty self-explanatory, but for the upstairs one you have to use the high-low to lift this box and hold it up high against this fence. Once you have it in place, you can climb up the high-low, up onto the box, and jump over the fence. From here you can scope out the upstairs warehouse. The third warehouse is across the way in this building. Take a picture of whatever's in there, and now we're done with secondary targets. While you're at the airfield, Pavel might bug you to scope out the control tower. That's fine, and it's only a one-time thing, so once you send him that picture, you won't have to do it again. At this point, we're pretty much done with the scope out mission. Now, I want to make a point here, because it's a painful lesson that I learned while I was filming this. Those of you who watched my Billion Dollar Grind live streams from 2022 know that I've literally run Kayo hundreds of times. Usually the quickest way to end the scope out mission is to set your Kasaka as your spawning point and then just session jump back to an invite only lobby. However, while filming this, I learned that if it's your first time running the scope out mission, then you have to go to your pilot at the airfield, take the plane back to Los Santos, and sit through the cutscenes. This mission will not be complete until you arrive in Los Santos. So while I was filming this, the first time I did it, I just session jumped back to end it the way I always do. And I wound up having to do the entire thing again, starting literally all the way back at the intro scene with Dr. Dre. Needless to say, I was kind of irritated. So important note, first timers, use the pilot to come back or else you will lose everything you scoped out and you will have to go through the entire mission again. Now, the next time you run the scope out mission and every time afterwards, it completes as soon as you scope the primary target with the security cameras. So after that, you can session jump back and save yourself a lot of time. Now that the scope out mission is complete, it's time to do the setup missions. I went pretty in depth with this video and it's running longer than I wanted it to. So I'm gonna end this one here. I'm going to break up this Kyo run into three separate videos. This first, obviously, is for the scope out mission. The next one will be for all the setup missions. And the third one will be the actual main heist itself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, then please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching and have a great game.